could you please explain to us when uh, the division in Islam came into being, Shia, Sunni? You're not going anywhere from now till like 4 a.m.? <laughs> you got nothing to do? <laughs> I appreciate you guys indulging me, uh, even though indulgences are our trigger word in interfaith <laughs> gatherings, right? Uh, so I subscribe to Sunni Islam, as do the vast majority of the 1.5 billion Muslims on the planet. Uh, and so I may come off taking sides here a little bit, <laughs> only because it's very difficult for me to uh, I guess advocate or legitimate uh, or justify a uh, a belief that I a conviction that I don't have. Okay, just it's an important disclaimer. Uh, but the word Sunnah, Sunni comes from the word Sunnah. Sunnah means example. It refers Islamically. It's a, it's, a, it's a term that refers to the Prophet's example. Right? There are people that trace their religious understanding, whether in theology or in practice, all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And we believe he is the ultimate authority in understanding how we should believe, what we should believe about God, and what God expects of us, and uh, the location of God's pleasure and displeasure, right? The law of God, and all, all that would imply whether on, in the ethical sphere, in the ritual sphere, in the transactional sphere between human beings, civil dealings, in the theological sphere, all of it. Uh, and so basically, in principle, they require evidence traceable all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, because he was the final prophet. He received revelation from God, and revelation has been sealed after that. Uh, Shiism comes from the word Shia. Shia means supporters, because it first, uh, emerged in the time of the fourth successor after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, so the Prophet, peace be upon him, died. There was Abu Bakr, then there was Omar, then there was Uthman, and then there was Ali. These were all contemporaries of the Prophet Muhammad. These were his companions. These are not next generation. And so the fourth of them was Ali. Uh, may Allah be pleased with him. This is the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, and he saw opposition. He saw uprisings in his time. And so these people uh, that uh, attribute themselves to Ali, they consider themselves the supporters of Ali. So we stand in defense of the legitimate political authority. That's where the Shiites, the supporters, were the supporters of the illegitimate ruler, if you will. Uh, that's where the name first came. Later on, centuries later, to be honest, uh, being a Shiite had... Uh, very different implications in terms of theology, in terms of believing that Ali and 12 Imams, that's why the, the Shiites, most, the majority of them are known as Imam, Imam, Imamites, right? because they believe in 12 infallible Imams. That is on, on some level similar to the doctrine of the papacy of the Pope, that they have revelation from God, if you will, or inspiration from God as to what God wants. The Sunni doctrine does not accept that. We believe that prophets receive revelation. They are the access point to God. Prophethood has been sealed. And therefore, our tradition must be traced back to the Prophet Muhammad, or it's, a, it's not religion. It's contrary to that and unacceptable for not uh, fulfilling that requirement. That's basically it. Which part? Okay. The theological split, uh, yeah, so they, the supporters of Ali, if you will, like the, those who de defended the prophet's companion, the prophet's cousin, the fourth ruler of Islam, successor of the prophet Muhammad, this was within 30 years of the prophet's, this was uh, 19 years after the prophet's death approximately, yes. There was, a, there was an attempted, there was, a, there was an assassination. So there was an attempted revolution, and it failed, but the assassination did work. And then his son, the son of Ali, took power, and he handed off, he abdicated, he handed off power to uh, 
another ruler to try to bring together the warring factions, and he successfully did so, and very nobly did so. Uh, and so this was all political uh, turmoil. Um, and things went smoothly for another few years, and then the generations would never be as pure as the first generations of Islam, so things uh, became uh, a bit more complicated, a bit more unfortunate. But the theological, uh, I guess, differences between Sunni and Shia Islam, that happened two to three hundred years after. That's when it really emerged as a phenomenon, not as like one person here or one person there that had a particularly, particular belief that Ali was particularly special because that existed, that existed even during the lifetime of Ali himself. But it was not a doctrine, it was not a, a religion, forgive me, it was not a sect, none of that. Even Ali himself, he, he, he pushed back against people that went overboard in praising him, overboard in deifying him, if you will, because he believed this is deification. And he said, even the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, didn't accept this degree of, uh, of exaltation. And he said, I am but the servant and messenger of God. Uh, and, please, uh, and he said, do not do to me what was done to my brother, Jesus, the son of Mary, meaning over-aggrandizement, if you will, or aggrandizement. I am but the servant of God and his messenger. Because that was a major thing. That's the fundamental rule in Islam, is the distinction between creator and creation. Because if your ultimate purpose in life is to connect with your creator, that's going to be contingent upon identifying who your creator is and not conflating between creator and creation. So Ali did the same thing. He stopped them, and it never became a thing until two, three hundred years later. Okay? We, we, all, we, we do that. We, all human beings do this. It's just... It doesn't make it a religion that there's like personality cults, if you will, right? Like when we go overboard praising a politician or something like that, and we see all their virtues and refuse to see their flaws, that doesn't make it a religion. But later on, it kind of became a doctrine. Uh, and again, I'm a Sunni, speaking from the Sunni perspective, and so forgive me if I would come off as a bit biased. Okay? Maybe if you were Shia, you'd think I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just try to be fair to them somehow. Uh.